Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, today we remember the men buried here who hallow this ground by their sacrifice. They stood unwavering against tyranny and oppression, against evil men determined to force their wills upon the helpless. We gather here proud and free. We know peace, O oh God. We assemble without fear or threat. Because of these heroes, we enjoy what they bought with their blood. As a new generation, Heavenly Father, may we do no less with our time on earth. Energize us to unfetter those in bondage. Speak for those who have no voice. Provide rest for the weary and bring comfort to those who mourn. And may we never achieve these goals by trading away what these men purchased with their lives. Help us to do what is right, no matter the cost, following the footsteps of those who have gone before us. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Amen. My name is Hurtling, and I am a soldier. Right now, there are dignitaries, ambassadors, statesmen, politicians, and generals traveling to various battlefields throughout the United States and throughout Europe, and all are speaking about those who sacrificed. But for Sue, my wife, and me, the field here at Margrat will forever symbolize how to best memorialize soldiers. Because we will always remember our visit here last Christmas Eve. You see, we had been invited to attend the Christmas Eve Mass at the Deschart Cave Complex, a, a place very close to here. Many of you know of it and have been touched by its story. But for those who don't know the story of the cave, during the bloody winter of 1944, when bitter cold denied respite from the gruesome fighting. And when bombs fell like an incessant rain on friends and foe alike, young men, Dutch civilians, and American soldiers gathered in the Deschart Cave to celebrate Christmas Eve. Carved out of sandstone by the brothers of the Bayard Monastery centuries ago, the Deschart Cave became the place where those recently liberated, those from the Netherlands, and those who had, liberating, who had liberated them, the American soldiers, came together to celebrate Christmas Mass. An emotion as conflicted as Christmas in wartime itself was in the air of the cave. Having spent three Christmases in combat, I know the feeling. The hope and new, of new and everlasting life balanced with the fear associated with imminent danger. 
On one side of the cave were the liberated Dutch people, tasting freedom for the first time in four years. But the Americans, who were on the other side of the cave, who were resting after months of hard fighting, starting at Normandy, had just received orders telling them they would reinforce their brothers near a place called Bastogne. Those young men tempered the celebration of that Christmas Eve night with a sobriety known only to those who know that they will soon face danger. 67 years have passed since that Christmas Eve service. 67 years since 300 Americans who shared communion with their Dutch brothers signed their name on the wall of the cave in charcoal and left to fight in a town not too far from them. Or as you of them would see another Christmas.